never believed in the paranormal. I always made fun of people who tried to convince me otherwise with their scary stories or far-fetched theories. For a long time, I felt only the only thing paranormal in life was how my cereal in the morning always seemed to get soggy before I finished eating it. That was until one Saturday night when I was sitting at home alone. As I often do, casually browsing the internet and texting friends, I waited for another slow night to come to an end. It was then I caught a glimpse of something scudding across my floor. I freaked out a little bit as I assumed it was a spider or something. I've always hated bugs. I watched as this thing slipped into one of my discarded shoes. I slowly got up and picked up the shoe. Ready to jump back at a moment's notice, I shook the shoe, expecting the tiny intruder to fall to the ground and startle me. Yet, as I shocked the shook the shoe forward further, nothing happened. I became confused and peered into the shoe, as I did, so I let out a scream and tossed the thing across the room, as I swear I saw an eye blinking at me from the dark confines of the shoe, glimmering in what little light there was. I stood in place for a good few minutes, trying to calm myself as I cautiously approached the shoe and nudged it with my foot. When nothing happened, I once again picked the shoe up and looked inside, beginning to doubt my own sanity. Once again, I froze in terror as that eye blinked at me from inside the shoe. I quickly tossed the shoe into a cupboard and shut the door, going as far as making a little barricade with the small objects that littered my room. I vacated the room and did not return until my parents came home. They both seemed worried about me, but I dismissed the story as ridiculous, then went to my room. They made quick work of my little barricade and searched the cupboard for my shoe. There's no shoe in there. What? That's impossible. I left the shoe right there. It couldn't have just vanished. I panicked and searched the cupboard myself, finding nothing. It must have been a bad dream. Come on, dear. No, it wasn't a dream. It couldn't have been. Was I going crazy? This didn't make any sense. Eventually, my parents convinced me to calm down and get ready to go to bed. Though my mind was still fixated on the missing shoe and that eye as I slid into bed, I fell into an uneasy sleep. The following day, I searched my room for that shoe. To this day, I still haven't found it and resigned myself to buying a new pair of shoes. My parents no doubt think I'm completely insane. Still late at night when I'm all alone, I can't shake the feeling that I'm still being watched.